Comedy Stage Central, um, always imitated but never duplicated. Let's give it up for Mr. Ivan Wasserman. Started. So every year, so this four years ago, this show was the first time I ever did this. And when I remember walking out vividly, it's a, and I could not believe that so many people came to this to either see me have fun and everyone laugh or to see me epically fail. But I don't care the fact that you're here. And every time I walk up, I get so scared, believe it or not, and I forget to just thank you all from the bottom of my heart for, for just taking a few minutes out of your day. I know this is a busy show for everyone. I know you're probably not going to make sales or make deals during this because then you're not paying attention to my idiocy up here. But uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Really, I, I really appreciate you guys showing up year after year. I know, Gene, who else was here for all four of my Vegas performances? I got some, I got some groupies. Uh, it's like... <laughs> So yeah, four years ago today, I, I got my start. Oh, before I do that, see, I forget stuff already. I also just want to give a sh thanks and a shout out to my to my law firm and my partners, uh, Rakesh, who's, who's filming over there, and the others. You know, it, I think it takes a lot of trust because in theory, you could lose a lot of clients by letting me do this. <laughs> that guy's gonna represent us? No, I don't think so. so. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And really big shout out to George over here. And Woo! Uh, people ask me how this started, and it was four years ago at this show, and you know, no one had purchased the last spot on the last day of the conference in the Probiotic Resource Center, and George said, you know, will you do a regulatory talk? And I said, no, but I'll do a stand-up comedy routine. He looked at me like I was a crazy person, and I said, listen, I've never done that before, I've never done anything like it, but I'd really like to try it out. And again, I just couldn't believe people showed up and then came back, so it must not have been completely horrible. So this year, uh, uh, again, if you thought doing comedy uh, when everyone is sober on a trade show floor with 800 foot ceilings is hard, think about doing comedy where everyone's wearing a mask and you can't even see if people are smiling, much less laughing. Uh, so I guess if you think I'm funny, just like raise your hand. If you think I'm really funny, raise two hands. And just get a little, 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 little bit of feedback. So. With that, without any further ado, uh, let me just also thank uh, Mike Bush on guitar. Uh, the first time I've had a musical accompaniment. Uh, we will have other guests during the performance and I will recognize and thank them as they are brought up to the stage. So uh, I'm gonna just hold my notes, but hopefully I won't look at them just because it makes me more comfortable. So I'm gonna start the comedy now. Ready, scene. Uh, so being a world famous probiotic comic, you know, you get to meet a lot of celebrity co comedian friends, you know, so I've met a lot of great celebrities, they all call me for advice. You know, poor Dave Chappelle, who's been sort of following the, the Dave Chappelle sort of controversy? Yeah, you know, he's a brilliant guy, he's a good friend. So like, six months ago, he gives me a call, and he said, Ivan. I said, yeah, Dave. He said, you know, I, I got this Netflix special coming up, and, you know, I, I don't have any material. You know, do, do you have any ideas for me? And I thought, well, Dave, you know, you know what always works is uh, LGBT comedy. <laughs> and Dave said, really? That's, you know, that's hard. And I said, well, you know, Dave, you know, you're good, you know, and it, 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 it always works, so just give it a shot. So he said, all right, I'll give it a shot. So we all saw, uh, if you saw the Netflix special, I saw the Netflix special. 
And I saw, oh no, what, what, what was he thinking? What was he thinking? And all the controversy that comes up. And I call him, I was like, Dave, Dave, what were you thinking? He's like, what, you told me to do LGBT comedy. And I said, yeah, but what I was talking about was Lactobacillus gassiri, Bifidobactyl Thermopolis comedy. <laughs> So anyway, uh, I was hanging out with Stephen Wright. Who knows Stephen Wright? Yeah, right? Everyone's got a favorite Stephen Wright line, you know. He's very flat, he's very like easygoing, you know. Two of my favorite Stephen Wright lines are, you know, it's a small world, but I wouldn't want to paint it. <laughs> you know, a lot of people are afraid of heights, not me. I'm afraid of wits. <laughs> so I could just do Stephen Wright jokes all day, which would be a lot easier. But anyway, Stephen's talking to me, he's like, hey, Ivan. I really admire what you're doing here with the whole probiotic shtick. And I said, yeah, well, Stephen, you know, thanks, you're pretty good too. And he said, you know, I want to try a joke that, you know, I think is inspired by you, tell me if you like it. And I said, okay, Stephen, shoot. And he goes, well, I, I wanted to buy a bottle of uh, pills for digestive health and I went to the dollar store and, and they really didn't work. I looked at the bottle and they said they were amateur biotics. Amateur <laughs> biotics. Get it? Not probiotics, amateur biotics. <laughs> Any hands up? <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. So being a, being a very famous probiotic comic, in addition to being a pretty darn famous regulatory attorney, you know, you know, you get the perks of, of celebrity dumb, and I'm not going to lie. I mean, just the other day I was walking down the street and this really beautiful woman sort of saw me and she goes, Hey, hey, wait, are you, are you Ivan Wasserman? And I said, well, you know, yes, I am. She said, oh my God, oh, oh, oh my God, oh my God. I can't believe that I'm talking to the Ivan Wasserman. It's like, you know, I, I've never done this before. I've really never done this before. But, but you know, I was my girlfriends, you know, they tell me, they tell me just how good you are. And, I, and I, I'm a little bit embarrassed, but will you? And I knew what she was talking about, right? We all, I'm a celebrity, I, we all knew what she was talking about. And I said, well, uh, okay, but just to make sure that, you know, I give you what you need, I want to satisfy you, um, you know, let me just ask you a couple questions. She said, okay. I said, do you want it deep? And she said, yeah, the, the deeper the better. And I said, all right, well, do you want it fast? And she said, yeah, I want it fast, you know, quick and dirty. Quick and dirty is good. And I said, all right, let's do it. And she handed me her probiotic label to review. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> you see, that's the thing with comedy. See, you go one way, then you turn left really quick. And it sort of sets everyone up like, what the heck is he talking about? I thought he worked clean. Anyway, so, Corona. Who remembers where they were when Expo West was canceled the first time? <laughs> Andrew Pitts. I remember when I had my first beer. <laughs> Thank you, Steve Martin. <laughs> All right, how many people actually flew to Anaheim and realized it was over? Yeah, Fran, Rakesh. How many people like were heading to the airport? I've heard that story. So anyway, I'm just gonna tell my story real, real quickly. <clears throat> and I'm gonna tell it in song. Maestro, if you please. I was on my way down to Anaheim where I eat vegan cheese that tastes just like gorgonzola. <laughs> but then something happened that ruined my chance. We all know her name, and it's COVID-19 or Corona. R-O-N-A! Ro-ro-ro-ro-ro-na. ro 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 Well, I'm one of the world's most social guys, but I stayed in the house nearly all the time. Cause Corona. co 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 corona well, I'm not dumb, but I could understand why we all went on Zoom and didn't shake hands cause Corona. Go, 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 Corona. Well, I left home a few days ago. 
I never wore a mask at a trade show before. Rona sucks, makes it so hard to plan. So take your probiotics and wash your hands. Well, this is the way I don't want it to stay. I don't always want it to be that way. Please go away, Rona. Ro, 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 na. Everyone, ro, 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 na. Woohoo, one more verse. Ro, na. Ro, 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 na. Ro, 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 na. Woohoo, Mike Bush, my guitar, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! Two hands for Mike, everyone. All right, another, you know, not everything about Corona was bad, as we all know. Uh, one of the things I really liked about uh, being home a lot is I got to watch a, little, a lot of old movies, a lot of great movies. One of my favorite movies I got to watch over and over again during Corona was A Star is Born, the, you know, the remake with Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper. Who's seen that movie? A wonderful, wonderful movie. A lot of people don't realize that the original title of the movie, because it was supposed to be about uh, probiotics that work well in food applications, it was actually called A Spore is Born. A <laughs> Spore is Born. See how I work probiotics into all this somehow? <laughs> anyway, um, uh, so for your next, our next musical number, uh, we're going to do a, a song from that movie. And actually, this was going to be the original song. Who remembers when they're out in the desert? I think you're looking for his, his, old, his father's gravestone and the brother moves there. Remember that scene? And they got a little too much sun, didn't they? Out in the sun. So they, uh, they got a little too much sun. So we're going to do a number from that. And joining me on the stage, what we call the Bradley Cooper of our industry, <laughs> Mr. Andy Hockman from Roundtable. Oh, yeah. Let's give him a little... Please, please, please. Round of applause. <laughs> Wait, what's the mic situation? <laughs> Hold on, we have to do a little scene change here. <laughs> <laughs> Apologies to Lady Gaga. Apologies to Lady Gaga. Yeah. 
Mr. Andy Hoffman, ladies and gentlemen. Roundtable Health by day, Bradley Cooper impersonator by night. How was that, ladies and gentlemen? All right, I got a little, I got a little prop change here. So, is, is this one on? Oh, oh wake up. <laughs> Thanks. This, oh, that one's not on. Can you hold the mic? Wait, so, so during COVID, in addition to watching great movies, I, I really tried to uh, teach myself a new, a new skill. And I was trying to think of what skills I could teach myself to entertain you wonderful probiotic comedy fans. And what I, what I landed on was uh, ventriloquism. And, uh, you know, but it was during COVID, so I really got to do the ventriloquism sort of in the way I learned it, so bear with me. <laughs> gentlemen, can you hear me? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, straight from my gut, a probiotic. <laughs> He's demanding on top. Gets a free break here. Wait, I forgot my first slide. <laughs> All right, so, so when, when he's talking, put the mic next to his mouth. You get that? All right. So, you're a probiotic. Yes, I am. No, well, don't actually do that. <laughs> what? It's live comedy, ladies and gentlemen. Anything happen. You're a probiotic. Yes, I am. I have so many questions. Can I ask you questions? Yes. First of all, what's your name? Wait, wait. Let me guess. Is it uh, Peter the Probiotic? No. Everyone see him? Is it Bob the Bifido? No. Is it uh, Larry the Lactobacillus? No. Well, what's your name then? Uh, I give up. Stanley. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Stanley's funny. Okay, so I can't believe your name is Stanley. It's just Stanley? Yeah? Is that a common name for a probiotic? No. Are you the only Stanley inside me? No. There's like a gazillion of me inside me. You think I'm the only Stanley? <laughs> <laughs> I suppose you're right. Well, tell me about yourself. Oh, I'm just a... Uh, Regular guy. <laughs> what, you're a comedian? <laughs> oh, you're a comedian, are you? No. Well, do you like comedians? Yes. <laughs> Who's your favorite comedian? Well, I really like Larry the CFU guy. <laughs> oh, like Larry the Cable guy. I get it. Yeah. And uh, who yeah. else do you like? I like that guy named Chris in your body. Chris Rock? No. Chris Kidney Stone. <laughs> I get it. Well, why do you like Larry the NXT uh, guy? Well, he starts every act with, Good evening, ladies and germs. <laughs> get it? Because we're germs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so do you. <laughs> do you <laughs> so, so you like comedy. Have you ever done anything bad? Well, yeah, once, once I got a DWI. What does that mean? Did you drive? No, it means digesting while intoxicated. <laughs> ha! Wait, there's alcohol down there? I mean, your uh, gut? You don't think there's any alcohol? 
Oh, that's a good point. Especially in Vegas. Yeah, especially in Vegas. So do you have any superheroes down there? Well, we love the Probiotic Man. The Probiotic Man, do you mean George Paravazakos? Yeah? yeah? Do you know he's, he's right next to you? No, that's Fran. <laughs> <laughs> That's the probiotic man! I don't believe it! Oh my god, we love you down there! Hey, down there. I'm great, I can't believe I'm meeting the probiotic man! <laughs> Why do you like the probiotic man, Stan? Well, because he helps spread the word about probiotics all over the world and how important we are. Yeah, what else do you like about him? I like that he's bald. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the owl, Andy? <laughs> well, I, that's not nice, Stanley. Why do you like these balls? Well, bald is beautiful. All probiotics are bald. His hat is sewn on my head. Otherwise, I would show you how bald I was. Yes, I'm very bald. Okay, anything else you want to say before you go back into my gut? Don't forget to eat your prebiotics. They're delicious. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> Thank you all for coming. Bye. Stanley. That was Stanley, the probiotic, ladies and gentlemen. Nice. Thank you. All right. It's almost over. <laughs> For our last, our last musical number, let's get Andy back on the stage. No, uh, I don't need the mask. And please, ladies and gentlemen, a woman who is no stranger to the probiotic comedy circuit, the diva to the end all divas, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Heather Granado. Let's hear it for her. This song is too soon. Bomba ba bomba 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 ba bomba ba bomba dang a dang dang a ding a dong ding too soon too too soon did it did it did too 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 soon did it did it did too 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 soon did it did it did bomba ba bomba bomba ba bomba ba bomba ba bomba dang a dang dang a ding a dong ding too soon. So sick of being alone Without the folks that I heart I miss you all I miss the love of my home Bomba ba bomba 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 ba bomba ba bomba dang a dang dang a ding a dong Too soon We know just what we are here for The industry we all care for Inform us totally prepared for Bomba ba bomba 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 ba bomba ding a ding ding a ding a dong ding Not too soon We Okay give me that Not too soon Nope next year There we go Not too soon Now we're no longer alone It's the dream of my heart we love you all. Welcome home. Bum 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 bum. Woo! So if everyone remembers the uh, the uh, let's hear it for Heather and Andy. Let's hear it one more time for yeah. Mike Bush on guitar. Oh yeah. Let's hear it for Informa for putting this wonderful oh, show together. Yeah. For everyone who knows the, the Dirty Dancing movie and, the, and uh, Patrick Swayze comes in, he says he always closes the show. Thank you, George, for letting me close the show. Thank you all. Drive safe. Tip your waiters. Good night, everybody. Woo!